What is your number one tip for an aspiring writer? Uh, finish things. Yeah, get to work. You know, that's, that's got to be, I mean, write is, is only takes you so far. Finish things um, takes you most of the rest of the way. Write things people want to read. Write things you care about. Um, don't, you know, I get, I get puzzled and lost when people start asking me questions about what they should be writing for the market or whatever. There is no market. Nobody, there's nobody in the whole world of, of marketing ever would have woken up one day and said, a series of unfortunate events is exactly what the world needs. Yeah. <laughs> You know, nobody would have turned around and gone, ah, your market niche is do a sort of reply to Kipling's The Jungle Book and set it in the graveyard. <laughs> That's not, you know, things like that happen because somebody wants to tell a story and because you have an idea and because you think you can tell that story better than anybody else. And it turns out there's room, which is, I think, so inspiring to me. I mean, when I was starting out, I felt like there wasn't room. Um, I think it's something that our characters feel in books that we do, that they feel shut out. Coraline thinks, what am I doing here? Uh, Gwen thinks, I want to leave the world and be a pirate. And I think that it speaks to some uh, alienation that you feel when you're starting out as a writer. You think there is literature, and there's, there's the stupid scribbles that I'm doing, mm -hmm. and there's no room for it. And it turns out there is. It turns out that the world of literature is infinite and wide, and I'm forever grateful to be part of the adventure where people come to a dark room and talk about it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.